promise to myself that I would only work on public and cultural projects, so that's how I got here, right? These guys like champion that type of work. We want to make buildings that will last a long time, and those kinds of institutions are ones that share the same values that we have. The office is really run like an atelier. There's a lot of about the way that artists work that we bring into the way that we work in terms of taking the material, seeing how we can play with it, experiment. This is a hand-molded brick. Quite heavy. <laughs> this is a hand-carved piece of stone. We love to have objects around us, and we love to have the real material around us. And that's why this place is full of stuff. There's a certain poetry and a certain kind of elegance, I think, in the way that Todd and Billy runs this office. There is a spirit here that's just unlike anywhere else that, I, that I've experienced. It has a lot of life. I think we're invigorated by this place. It's relaxed but intense. I mean, I think people here feel comfortable to spend the day in their biking shorts. Challenging uh, is one word. Balanced. Playful. <laughs> Complete. Varied. Inquisitive. Creative. Too obvious. Too obvious. Damn it! Uh, working here is like working with a family. Like my family at home, except everyone here is an architect and lives in New York. Basically, we have no doors. We know that we're working in teams, but the teams are shifting teams, and we want this to be much more porous and, and, and open. People are constantly aware of what's going on in the studio and what other people are doing. When there are issues or problems, it you know, floats across the open space. You just sort of learn and feed off one another, which is great. I like that. That's really important to me when I'm sitting at my desk. I want to hear that sort of sense of the sound of the studio. There's an energy that, that's present, sort of an intense energy. Sometimes it seems insane and then it turns out to be genius. There's this kind of uh, osmosis between projects. It's a lot of conversations. Everyone's contributing, everyone's part of the process. I think we want everyone to understand everything about making a project and also everything about running an office. And everybody has dish day. Yeah, I, uh, Monday I do the dishes. I would say respect. There's a lot of respect um, in the office, respect for the knowledge that's here. Someone found the building so interesting to them that they built a scale model in, in Lego. I really like some parts of this project. They look at their sort of surroundings a lot and, and apply a lot of that. Todd and Billy were taking a trip in Chile and happened to walk into this cathedral. It's centuries old, the building. And they incorporated this floor into the barns. And I think it really exemplifies how Todd and Billy design. And it's really about knowing the world and those are your tools. So this sort of mixture of the garden and the gallery was really about a sense of the intensity of the collection and a sense of respite from that intensity. This is a uh, sample we had made by a very small iron workshop. It reminds you that our buildings are still made by hand and they're made by people. Working in a place and trying to make it of that place, trying to work with craftspeople who are there. We were invited to work in India nine years ago to make an entire campus for a software company. We made it entirely out of Indian materials with Indian methods for constructing buildings as well as our own understanding of how one should build in the 21st century. And we took this there and we showed them how to use exactus. It sort of shows you the extent to which Todd and Billy think about details and how to achieve something. It's a huge gift to be able to connect very deeply with the building culture and the general culture of India. I think we have the luxury of really thinking about what it means to make buildings. This is one of the sunscreens from the, the Berkeley East Asian Library. There's a kind of duality of scale, one of which is sort of from the distance sort of super refined and precise, but then as you get closer you can see the imperfection, or as Todd and Billy like to call it, the hand. The main quality of the process is that it's iterative. You hear this a lot around the office. It's one of Todd's favorite tools. Kind of make it a hard line thing and then sketch over it and use a lot of white out and things will kind of get really messy. Some highlighter sketches by Todd. And then it'll kind of make it back into the computer. The office is sort of designing things until they're absolutely done. It's not linear. Um, it's, it's a back and forth. They work so well off of each other. He understands space three-dimensionally, sense of weight, and the sense of movement through space is really coming so much from you. 
Billy brings the wisdom. She brings the calm. She brings actually the sort of uh, sense of propriety to everything. That's really important for everybody in the studio because if I bring the kind of ripples in the weather and uh, she, uh, she brings the sun.